Welcome to Felt the Food. I'm Phoebe, the maker of the original DIY kit that allows you to begin making felt food today. Join me in the craft kitchen for today's make. Today in the craft kitchen, we are making salted pretzels. In your kit, you will find your pattern along with a coordinating thread. Using the thread shown, remove and cut roughly half of the thread. Here's a pro tip, go slowly and carefully, untwist as you divide. Thread your needle by gently inserting the thread through the eye of the needle and pulling your thread through about halfway. In one hand, you will have your needle, and in the other, you will have the longest end of your thread. Using your needle, take the strands and divide so that you have only one thread. Holding firmly, wrap all of the thread around three times. Hold on to the knot and pull it all the way until you get back to the end. When you release, you will have what is known as a quilter's knot. Now let's create those beautiful French knots. Insert your needle through the back of the pattern. Create a loop and wrap your needle around three times. Insert your needle as close to the original stitch as possible and hold firmly onto the knot. When the thread has been fully threaded through the back, you should have a tiny knot. Repeat this process until you are happy with your design. To secure the thread, you will want to use your needle to pick up a small amount of felt. In one hand, hold the loop and insert your needle, wrapping the loop thread around three times. Pull the thread through and you will notice you have made a secure knot. Using the thread shown, Remove and cut roughly half of the thread. Carefully divide the thread so that you have only two strands. Thread your needle by gently inserting the thread through the eye of the needle and pulling your thread through about halfway. In one hand, you will have your needle, and in the other, you will have the longest end of your thread. Using your needle, take the strands and divide so that you have only one thread. Holding firmly, wrap all of your thread around three times. Hold on to the knot and pull it all the way until you get back to the end. Now we're going to put these two patterns together. We're going to do this using the blanket stitch. To begin your blanket stitch, you will insert through the back pattern. Now go through the top pattern and run your needle through to create that loop. This is gonna be the start of your blanket stitch. I want you to put your needle down and watch again as I do this. Again, this is the start of your blanket stitch. Your next stitch will go through both pieces and before securing, you will go back through the loop. Feel free to put your needle down and watch as I do a few of these stitches. I want to explain to you what I'm doing and why. You'll notice that I have a second two strand thread that I am threading with my needle right now. And the reason why I am doing this is because I'm going to finish the inner parts now. The reason why I'm doing this now and I didn't do it at the beginning is because as a beginner, we tend to make wider stitches and we tend to tighten. When you tighten, you're actually moving your pattern just a little bit every time you stitch. 
and that unfortunately will ensure that your pretzel is a little lopsided. So to make sure that it's perfect, we're going to stop at this halfway point when we're halfway around the top. We're going to stitch the inner parts of the pretzel and then we're going to slowly, slowly begin feeding in the fill. Go ahead and watch what I'm doing. Once you're ready, pick your needle back up and let's get back to work. This is always my favorite part. We're finally starting to see this design come together. Once you are beginning to make your final stitch, you will want to go back over two or three stitches in order to secure everything. On your last stitch, make your final loop and before securing, hold onto the loop and wrap the needle around three times, going through the loop one final time to make a knot. Hold the knot to ensure the knot is as close to the pattern as possible. Feel free to put your needle down and watch as I do this. Insert your needle right next to your knot and go through your pattern to lose the thread. Congratulations, you have made salted pretzels. If you loved this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't wait to see what you make next.